Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Our non Barnes in the house and welcome to another Words of Wisdom on a Wednesday. Yes, very excited to be here. Um, looking forward to spend some time with you guys. Yes, let me just increase this. Yeah, brilliant. <clears throat> there we go. So, good to be here. Uh, good to see you guys. This is officially <clears throat> our last words of wisdom on a Wednesday in 2022. And um, yeah, a very, very cool topic we're going to be talking about. So uh, yeah, let's just give people a moment. I've got Facebook in the house. I've got Instagram in the house. Renee, good to see you. Harry, um, Kyle, very cool to see you guys. Um, let's, let's talk about, you know, 2022. We're coming to the end of our of another year, and we're opening the door, a new chapter to a new year. And so the topic or the, the headline for today's session is, you know, obviously last live of 2023, but it is making 2023 a massive success, making 2023 a massive success. And I've outlined five things that I want you to take into consideration. I actually talk, talked about this a little bit earlier um, in one of my coaching sessions um, with one of my amazing champions, one of my clients that I work with. And so I'm going to go right through the list without uh, uh, taking too much time. So um, the first one that I want to talk about is, you know, we come to a period of time in the year where I believe, you know, Christmas, New Year's, it's a very magical period. And I like to use this period of time for reflection, for reflection, to look back in the last, you know, six, 12, three, 18, whatever months, and to reflect on what I experienced, how I handle situations, things that I did, things that I didn't do, the yeses that I said yes to, the noes that I said no to, and reflect back on the year primarily with the energy and the attitude of gratitude. So that's the first thing I like to do during this period. The second thing I like to do is to appreciate. I, 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 used, I spoke about this a little bit earlier, is that, you know, I'm sure that you, like me and a lot of people, you experienced a roller coaster year. 2022 was a roller coaster year for me. As most years are, you've got the highs, you've got the lows. And um, one of the key things that I've learned to understand over my years of being an entrepreneur and in business is that, and, and this is a quote that I love, I simply love, and that is, sometimes when you think you've been buried, you've actually been planted. I'll say that again. Sometimes when you think you've been buried, You've actually been planted. And I also believe that in every adversity, in every challenge, in every moment of darkness, lies the seed of hope, lies the seed of opportunity. And so looking back and reflecting, when I do that from an energy of appreciation and gratitude, even looking at the challenges, the hardships, the tough moments, it gives me an opportunity when I look back with appreciation and gratitude to find and identify where the seed of opportunity was. And the reality is there are going to be challenging moments in 2023. There's going to be challenging moments in 2024. There's going to be challenging moments in 2068, right? But it's always to remember that when we think we've been buried, we've actually been planted, and that in a, every moment of sadness or destruction or hurt lies the seed of opportunity, the seed of growth, the seed of a beautiful lesson. And there is a, that seed, that gift everywhere if we know how to look, know how to look and where to look. So that's the second thing I want to share with you guys. The third thing, which is really important, the way I like to use this period of time to make sure that 2023 
uh, is a massive success, and that is to refresh, rejuvenate, rest, relax, <sighs> take a time out for numero uno for myself, right? I'm a hustler, I'm hustling, I've got businesses, I've got companies, I've got employees, I've got team members, I've got amazing people that I get to serve day in, day out, week after week, month after month, year after year, that have been with me for years. But this is an opportunity for me to take some time for myself to look at where I am and what I need mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. And so use this period, my friends, to rejuvenate yourself, refresh yourself, spend time, spend this time with your loved ones, your family, your husband, your wife, your dog, your cat, your kids, your auntie, your uncle, whatever, whatever's gonna give you that inner peace. Because I think right now a lot of people need more inner peace, right? That's the third thing. The fourth thing that I think is important is to simply, if you're gonna make 2023 a massive success, you need to get excited. You need to get excited. You need to get excited about the new opportunities. You've got to get excited about the new places you're going to go to, the new experiences you're going to experience, the new people you're going to meet, the opportunities that, that are out there that are waiting for you to just open the door and walk into. And so the fourth thing for me is to get excited. I like to get excited about the new year, right? And then the fifth thing, which is something I like to be a little bit more practical with is I like to get excited about something called the power of one. The power of one. And what does that mean? What does that mean? The power of one. If you're going to make 2023 an amazing freaking year, understand the power of one. The power of one. What is the power of one? The power of one says that you're one phone call away from an amazing opportunity. You're one email away from a life-changing experience. You're one book away from a huge insight that can change your life. You're one seminar away from realizing something that can take your game, your money, your fun, your life to the next level. You're one, 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 one. You're one whatever away from changing your life. You're one decision away from reaching new levels of success. You're one moment, one experience away from, you know, experiencing something or having something or doing something you've never done. And so going into 2020, 23 with 2023 knocking on our door I like to think of the power of one what is one thing you can change one thing you can replace one thing you can do different or one thing you can do better in the new year not five things not 10 things not 20 things one thing a lot of people, you know, they set these crazy resolutions. Oh, I'm going to change five things next year. I'm going to change 10 things. Stop. We all know the statistics that most people who set New Year res resolutions, resolutions, by mid-January, certainly by the end of January, those New Year resolutions are already out of the window. And so here's my point. The power of one. Make one decision, one commitment to yourself to uphold and to be disciplined about in the new year. If you say, listen, I'm going to, you know, commit to working out three times a week and that's it. Everything else I'm not going to focus on, but I want to improve my health. I want to have more love in my life. I'm going to make sure that I go on one more date with my husband, my wife, my spouse, or whatever it is, uh, one more date a week or a month with the person that I love the most. Or I'm gonna, you know, send, you know, a bouquet of flowers um, once a month or one, whatever it is, the power of one, my friends, 
So I want you all to think about one thing, one thing, one habit, one commitment, one thing that you can do, just one thing that you can do, that if you focused on it consistently, remember success is nothing more than consistent action taken day to day, week after week, month after month, okay? Consistency is key. You will have greater success being consistent, doing something once a week over 10 years than doing something consistently once just for a whole day, if that makes sense, okay? So what is one habit you can install, one thing that you're gonna, gonna commit to, one action that no matter what you're gonna, you're gonna live through, you're gonna do, you're gonna uphold, because guess what? That one thing that you commit to is gonna create the ripple effect. If you say, listen, I am just gonna commit to staying fit. I'm gonna commit to losing weight. I'm gonna commit to having a great body. I'm gonna commit to reading one book a month. If you commit just to those one actions, one, you're gonna see the ripple effect is gonna to start to happen. And that's what I recommend you guys focus on. So recap, recap. How to make, what I believe, how to make 2023 a massive success. Number one is reflect on this year. Take time, a couple of hours, a day, two days, a week, whatever you need to reflect on the journey you've walked in 2022. Number two, appreciate. Appreciate the things that happened. Appreciate the way you responded to the things that happened. Look back with gratitude. Number three, very important, use this period of time, this festive period, Christmas, New Year's, to refresh and rejuvenate so that you hit the ground running in 2023 with good energy, with positive energy. Number four, very important, get excited. Get excited about 2023. Get excited about the new opportunities, the new experiences, and the new people you're gonna meet. Very important. And number five, the power of one. Implement, choose one habit, one thing, one person, one relationship. One, focus on one thing you're going to do more of. Or maybe commit to one thing you're going to stop doing. Just one. And watch how that ripple effect enhances your life. Guys, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. This is your coach, your friend, Arnon Barnes. And I'm sending you all blessings for the new year. Um, may God's life, the universe's life, shine on all of you and bring you love, happiness, joy, wealth, inner peace for 2023. And I hope you guys hit the ground running and thrive and make it a great year. So uh, you're very welcome. Um, and thank you for that, Renee. I appreciate that. Definitely see you in 2023. And uh, remember to live strong, live with passion and... Uh, See you in the new year, 2023. See you guys soon. Cheers.